CNN political analyst and deputy culture editor of the New York Times, Patrick Healy, host of the Ben Ferguson Show, the man Ben Ferguson himself, and former White House senior director under President Obama, Nayira Huck. Guys, it's great to, great to have you here. So first off, Patrick Healy, when you go to this tweet coming from Donald Trump late today, is he wrong? Because if you look, just look at the travel schedule during the campaign, President Obama did campaign hard, and it was per really personal for him for Hillary Clinton in places like Pennsylvania, Ohio, North Carolina, list them off, and Donald Trump won all the states. Right. Uh, President Obama made it very clear through his political lieutenants to Hillary Clinton that he wanted to campaign hard for her right. and especially against Donald Trump. He thought that he could bring out a message to rally his base, his coalition, for Hillary Clinton, that he was very well positioned to take it to Donald Trump, to sort of call him out, you know, as inexperienced, as a con man, as someone who wasn't capable of being commander in chief. And I, I think President Obama still hasn't kind of let go of this. He has a habit, he likes to get under people's skin, not with necessarily frontal attacks, but just sort of like nudge them <laughs> psychologically. And that is partly what he's doing here, saying, well, I could have won a third term. As we know, that will never be able to be <laughs> proved. But he knows that anything that makes Donald Trump sound like a loser, possibly, just drives him crazy. Yeah, so plausible deniability that he's right. actually trying to, to needle him. But Ben, beyond this point of if, he, if Donald Trump is right or wrong with this tweet, which he actually is kind of right, the, that this one interview that President Obama does with David Axelrod, I mean, it clearly got under Trump's skin, but he's going to have a lot of critiques coming his way over the next four years. How is he going to handle it if this bothers him so much? Well, I think this is an appropriate time for him to respond and to set the record straight on this. When you have the sitting president basically saying, I would have taken you out back and whooped up on you if I was up against you head to head. So I don't have a problem with this. And let's be also honest, if Donald Trump had done an interview today, one of the first questions any reporter would have asked him would have been, hey, president-elect, did you hear what Barack Obama said about you today? And we would have accepted that, that question coming from a reporter. Instead, we cut out the middleman and Trump says, yeah, no. You lost, and you would have lost if you were up against me. Hillary Clinton was an extension of Barack Obama. He made that very clear on the campaign trail as well, that if you want to keep my policies going, he even said that in stump speeches, Hillary Clinton is who you need to go out and vote for, and the American people rejected that message. So for him to come out and claim now that he would have won the election, he was out there campaigning, so was Michelle Obama, saying, you want us and what we did to keep going, vote for Hillary, and people said no. Yeah, Donald Trump can say whatever he wants on Twitter, of course, but again, we would, we would ask him if we would have an interview with him, but he's not doing press conferences yet. <laughs> again, Ben Ferguson must be pointed out. Now, yeah. get, on, get in on this. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, any, any president who's won t two terms, whether Democrat or Republican, would probably say the same thing, that, yeah, of course I could win a third term. I mean, this is, if anybody can appreciate a healthy ego, it should be Donald Trump. The challenge is that that ego hasn't stopped being in campaign mode, and that ego has continued on to uh, being a president-elect and governing, and that's the big difference. Having such a thin skin uh, in the campaign, it's carried over on Twitter, uh, is the danger in that is that any foreign leader uh, now knows, and anybody who's looking to go up against the U.S. knows that all you have to do is make a random comment uh, that uh, about, hold on, let's be clear. And, and it'll get under Let, his skin. I mean, here, here's the challenge. Here, here's the big difference. It, it's, hold on, hold on, Ben. Oh, Let me hear finish. <laughs> okay. uh, I mean, it, it is it is an offhand comment uh, out of a bigger context of what the president was saying even today, which is that this is really what we need is a time of healing and a time of moving forward and not focusing on divisiveness. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the yeah. day, but Obama the the did day, exactly that. Okay, go back. Trump, the, yeah, here, look, like Trump. First of all, first of all, let's not act like it's thin skin when you have the highest level of trash talking you can possibly have in politics, a sitting president and a president elect. So it's not thin skin for those two individuals no, but, to but, go but, after but one another. Actually, well, but I think thing. actually, going this after, is, Patrick makes right. a fascinating point. That it, it's whenever, when, whenever anyone kind of, I, don't, I wouldn't say calls him a loser, but kind of questions his winnability, if you will. I mean, we have example upon example of when right, he points when you out an election, over and over again. But when you win an election, when you win an election fair and square. Two of you are talking to me, and I only have one brain. Hold one on. Go, Patrick. Let's make this one point about, about Donald Trump to put, it, to put it in context, too. And that's that Donald Trump has said many times that if you hit him, he's going to hit you back ten times as hard. Right. And I will say, again, let's put this tweet in context. What Donald Trump, what Donald Trump tweeted about Obama actually wasn't that vicious. So one could argue 
that he is, let's say, sort Toning of modulating down. his tone a little bit. I mean, I, he always used to say, it's gonna, I hit ten, back 10 times as hard so they never forget how tough I can be. And, and with this kind of a tweet, at least, you know, he was basically saying, well, you know, President Obama tried to campaign hard, Again, but I won. Not or really. You can't have, the thing is, is you can't you got have, to, hold on, there are two things. Yeah. I don't think what Donald Trump really says in the tweet is wrong. I, I'm just fascinated by the fact that, Ben, no one is questioning the result of the election at, at all. So oh, who is Trump's audience? I disagree. Look at look at how many people have come out there. Almost every Democrat says, well, he didn't win the popular vote. vote. They're not if questioning I'm the Trump, outcome not anymore. That, no one but is. But they're, but they're undermining fact. it. That Hold is on. a but, but, fact. Kate, they're undermining it. They're undermining okay. it, trying to act as if somehow he's not legit. You had a, Look at all the stars that came out and did a video begging those in the Electoral College to not vote for Donald Trump, and, that he and wasn't really the president. Do to really be presidential. That's unprecedented. He could ignore it and move on and focus on governing you're never the country. Annoy, the fact, you're never going to ignore that he's Obama talking the trash. Bait, it's a never-ending campaign. I mean, listen, we've lost so it's many icons standard from the 80s It's a double standard when you don't hold Obama to the same standard. Let's lose this election and move forward and actually focus hey, on healing the hey, country. Hey, problem, and wait, wait, and and to jump in. Tell the president of the United States of America that. I'm going to reach through this television screen and get you. <laughs> and the part of the problem, and why Democrats keep bringing up the popular vote, as you know, is that some of the people around President-elect Trump keep saying that he has a mandate, keep sort of insisting that, that American people voted his program into office, his policies, that, that he won, you know, some kind of a, a mandate to, <clears throat> to govern. And what you have here, he clearly won the Electoral College. He clearly is president-elect. He's going to be president of the United right. States. But the question of does he have an actual sort of mandate to do the things that he wants to do when he lost and the popular I would say vote? This. But hold on, I'm, I'm cutting play... this off. We're going to see once and for all if I can actually cut it off with Ben Ferguson. Great to see you guys. Let's fight this in the break. <laughs> Coming up.